پاک امریکہ تعلقات شروع ہی سے اونچ نیچ کا شکار رہے ہیں اور اب جب کہ پاکستان کا انہترواں یوم آزادی حال ہی میں منایا گیا ہے تو سوال یہ ہے کہ آج ان تعلقات کی کیا نوعیت ہے اور یہی بات جان نے آج میں آیا ہوں واشنگٹن میں بروکنگز انسٹیٹیوٹ جہاں میں یہ بات پوچھوں گا ڈاکٹر اسٹیون کوہین سے جو کہ پاک امریکہ تعلقات پر گہری نظر رکھنے کے علاوہ اس موضوع پر کئی کتابوں کے مصنف بھی ہیں آئیے ان کے دفتر چلتے ہیں When you look at the history of these relations, what would be some of the defining features uh, that bind the two nations together? Well, I think what really bound the nations together was that they entered into a relationship which neither believed in fully. That is, we were sort of winking when we cozied up to Pakistan, and the Pakistanis used us for its own purposes. And I gave a talk in 1977 in Islamabad, uh, and I, made, I said that, you know, Pakistan really shouldn't be too dependent on the United States. It has to diversify its, its, its relationship with other countries, uh, with China, with India, to some degree, with the Arab countries. And they've done, you know, and they, they and then entered into a tight relationship with the U.S., an alliance with the U.S. But during that alliance, we used Pakistan for our own purposes, and the Pakistanis used us for its own purposes. I think now you have a relationship which is much clearer on both sides, it's more realistic assessment on the Pakistan side and on our side. What can you do for me? You can do a lot or a little. Well, basically, you can't do very much, but you can do something. So Pakistan has become dependent again on China, on the Gulf states to some degree, but it's diversified its dependency. I think that's healthy for Pakistan. It's healthy for us also. So I think that our relationship is actually much healthier now than it was in the days when there were illusions on both sides about the nature of the relationship. In terms of challenges, if you look mm -hmm. at uh, the history of challenges between the two relations, yeah. uh, Uh, is there a trend of sorts? Uh, is there a broad uh, trend that you can probably hone, hone in on? No, I don't think there is. I think that the issues w w that worried us 20 years ago, 25 years ago, are still around. One is the, the, the spread of nuclear weapons and the unauthorized use of nuclear weapons, you know, accidental use of nuclear weapons, which was an issue when I was in the State Department in the 1980s. Uh, relations with India were bad then. They're, they're bad now. They maybe get worse. They'll maybe get better. Uh, relations with Afghanistan, Pakistan, Pakistan's role in Afghanistan, there was a big issue because Pakistan was essentially on both sides of that war. It was both supporting the Taliban and it was supporting the Afghan government. So in a sense, I think the ambiguities of everybody's policy is now clear to the other side. Our policy in Afghanistan was actually, I think, very narrow. It was very pro-Afghan, then it was actually, actually where our major interest was in Pakistan. So in a sense, we've, we've, we're pulling out of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and India may fill in Afghanistan. The, the Soviet, Russians may be there also. The Chinese are certainly going to be there in a major way. I think that's in everybody's interest. So I think we're, there's more clarity among, between us and the Pakistanis about whose role is what in South Asia. And how have uh, the events of the 9-11 uh, impacted the bilateral relations between Pakistan well, and the United Pakistan States? Well, Pakistan was a temporary ally in that because it was, in fact, threatened by ultimately by extremists, but it also has been supporting extremists of its own. We supported the extremists. I mean, at various times America supported Contras and other groups, which I was not proud of. So in a sense, all countries dabble with these groups. But I think the Pakistanis understand that blowback can happen in Pakistan, and the rise of the TTP in Pakistan is directly threatening the Pakistan army. And I think the army is rethinking its whole role about its, its support or, or playing around with, with extremists and terrorists. Has the character of uh, engagement changed since 9-11? Uh, yeah, it got much worse after a while because uh, we, had, we had covert operatives in Pakistan shooting people on the streets of Pakistan. And then there was an attack on the border which infuriated Pakistanis. We're also bombing Pakistan on a regular basis. Pakistan is the only ally we bomb on a regular basis with, by, by drones. But I think that had the support of the Pakistan government to some degree. We've cut down the number of drone attacks and they're more precise and they're more careful, but I assume the Pakistan government still approves them and knows about them. I hope they do. And uh, so in a sense, that's become less of an issue than it was before. Do you see the perception of Pakistanis towards United States improving since the last 10 years? Well, I think that, I don't know. I've been in Pakistan for three years now, so I'm really out of touch with Pakistan opinion. But my gut judgment is that they, they're, they're less worried about reckless American behavior spilling over in Pakistan than they were before. But they're correct, correctly worried about us sort of leaving the region completely. 
Uh, they don't want to be left alone with the Indians. On the other hand, we're not going to fight a war for them against India. Well, thank you very much for your good, talk to Good. Happy to talk to you.